Hey everyone, it's Rebecca from ScrapPrincess.com. It's been brought to my attention by a couple different people now that I say um a lot, and I do. I know I do. I say it in real life all the time. I'm not a very good speaker, but I feel like I'm getting better with each video. I'm not saying it as much, so I'm going to try to continue to not say it, so just bear with me a little bit here. So this video is going to be my pack of tans shopping haul. A lot of, some of you might not know what pack of tans is. Um, it's a store here in Ohio. Um, the it's in Strong the the main office and stuff is in Strongsville, Ohio. And I believe it's only in northern Ohio. I'm not sure if it's in any other part of Ohio. But it is a local type craft store. But it is also chained around this area. So they have their own um, embossing folders. So I did get, um, they were on clearance for a dollar a piece. I did get two of each. One for me and one for my best friend's birthday. Um, so we'll work on that. <coughs> and then uh, they have frames, which is you put it on your folder with your when you emboss your folder in the cuddle bug. And it, if you can see here in the center here, it's smooth for your stamping, whereas all the rest of it got the got embossed with the cuddle bug or Sizzix, whatever you would like. And this one comes with all these different shapes. I did get this. I did do the pack of tan shopping haul because I wanted to renew my my VIP card, um, which gives me an extra discount. And I also got some more twine. And then these ones are the girl colors. There's a white, a light purple, light pink, and then a darker purple. So, that is, again, a small haul, but it was basically just to renew my 20% off um, VIP card. So, that is my pack of tans haul, and I will link to their website so you guys can research all about them. They are a really good company. Again, they are local to me, but... I do really, they were the, it was the first place I ever bought any scrapbooking stuff was Pack of Tans. They are, to me, the best store to buy stuff at. Um, I, have, I have leaned more towards Michaels as far as shopping now. They do have more of a selection for scrapbookers, whereas Pack of Tans is pretty much everything. They have a ton for pretty much everything. Jewelry making, pretty much anything you can think of, they have it. So it's kind of nice, but I do lean towards Michaels. They are a little bit cheaper, and they do have more gear towards scrapbooking. Um, so just stay tuned for more videos. Till next time. Bye. I almost forgot the most important thing that I got at Pack of Tans when I was there. When this came out, I believe it was last summer. The initial cost was $70. I really, really wanted it. This is the American Crafts Cut Up. This is the paper cutter. So, it's kind of hard because it's super big to show you all with this little camera and the angle it's at. But, this is it. It also has, it has a spot for extras, which I will have those soon. So, but it comes with the straight cut, a wavy cut, and then the score cartridge. And it goes all the way out to 19 inches, and then measures down to 12 that way. So how it works is you just take your cartridge, you lift it up, you insert, oops, you insert your cartridge and then you press down as you cut 
and it is very easy when you're using both hands to slide down and up and then when you're done you take it out and you insert it back into the storage and like I said this comes with three other three other three other cartridges which I will have coming soon on an order not quite sure where I wanted to order them from yet trying to find the best deal on them because you know me and deals so that now completes my pack of tan scrapbooking haul oh and they originally came out for seventy dollars I found it on clearance for twenty five the sticker said twenty five and when I went to check out, it rang up for a total of $18. I was so excited, it wasn't even funny. It was just an amazing deal. They were $70 I found them online for. $70 when they first came out. And I got it for $18. They aren't selling them anymore, but I still think it's a great cutter. And I'm still madly in love with it. I have now have a travel cutter. My smaller one will be travel when I go to crops and whatnot and then this one will stay put in my craft room in a permanent home. I am so excited. Till next time. Bye.